I want you to open your mouth and shout and, and say this after me. Say growth. Growth. I can't say growth. Growth. And increase. And increase. Say growth. Growth. And increase. And increase. Listen, whatever you open your mouth to say, it drops into your subconscious mind. And anything that gets into your subconscious mind becomes your reality. Someone say growth. Growth. And increase. And increase. Now sometimes you say, I will grow. I will grow. And I will increase. And I will increase. Say, every area of my life. Every area of my life. I will see growth. I will see growth. Every area of my life. Every area of my life. I will see increase. I will see increase. Say this year. This year. And the years ahead of me. And the years ahead of me. I will not. I will not fall down fall down everything about my life everything about my life will grow will grow and increase and increase first corinthians chapter 3 verse number 6 amen we have it's a whole seven week series and um um let me show you what i'll be teaching you in this whole seven weeks by the time i'm through Littleness will never ever stay in your life again. Amen. And by the time I'm true, you will hit anything that is small. Yes, Lord. You will hit a small bank account. Jesus. You will hit a small house. Yes, Lord. You will hit a small life. Jesus. Everything about your life shall be so big. Man. Tell somebody it shall be so big. It shall be so big. One more time, let go say it shall be so big. It shall be so big. Because listen to me, your God is a big God. Yes, Lord. Why do you have to live a life of mediocre? It's an error. Yes, Lord. If you don't go break, how can you help and support other people? So these are some of the things I'll be teaching you in the course of this whole seven, three, uh, six weeks. It's going to be amazing. What is growth and increase? why god wants you to grow and increase why you need to see growth and increase what brings about growth and increase what stops growth and increase i call them the enemies of growth and increase how to maintain your growth many people to grow but they come down am i saying the truth Sir. examples of people that saw growth and increase signs that you are growing and i also always show people one of the signs for you to know that you are growing and increasing is when people become jealous of you that's right can I continue? Yes. What to do to prepare yourself for growth? You don't just wake up and grow, uh, grow and increase in life. You've got to be deliberate. You've got to prepare. Yes, because you've got to be ready for the growth and increase. The type of attacks you see when you are growing and increasing. And that things that need to grow and increase in your life. And um, these are some of the things that I will teach you. Today I'm going to show you why God wants you to grow and increase amen now first corinthians chapter 3 verse number 6 let's all read together let's go i planted the seed apollos watered it but god has making it grow now let's go to kgv and understand it very well let's go kgv one two three kgv let's go i have planted apollos watered but god gave an increase verse 7 so then neither is he that planted anything neither he that watered but god that giveth the increase now help me to speak to someone say my neighbor my neighbor you can try your best you can try your best by your increase but your increase is from god it's from god you may be seated in the presence of the living god people always run after what is great one writer says something he says the enemy of great is good i'm repeating again the enemy of great is good if you're not careful and you are doing something that is good everybody will tell you wow is very good and you forget that you don't have to end up at being good you have to get end up at being great the enemy of great is good whatever is so big is very difficult for people to bring it down unfortunately based on our upbringing you and i where we come from and the continent we come from anytime we see something that is great we attribute it to the devil when something begins to grow so fast people begin to ask questions how did it happen because we are used to something that is so small jesus when were you you, you were young in the area where you used to stay all the houses that were so big your mother will warn you don't go and play over there 
Because if you go and play over there and you break the glass, we can't pay. Am I saying the truth over here? Yes, so whilst growing up, your mindset has been conditioned that anything that is big is not good. But unfortunately, I came to let you know, anything that is big, God loves what is big. Yes, sir. He is a big God. Say, he's a big God. He's a big God. Now, let me tell you, when God created you, the day God created you, Mr. Jeremy, coming for illustration, the day God created Adam, when he made Adam, he gave Adam one command. And the command he gave to Adam was not the Ten Commandments. When he made Adam, he didn't tell Adam, Adam, don't go and steal. Don't go and talk about your neighbor. He never said that to Adam. When he made Adam, the first command he gave to Adam was simple. He said to Adam, go and become big. Jesus. So if God makes you and the first thing he tells you, Adam, go and become big. So it means he's interested in your bigness. Yes, sir. Maybe you think I'm lying. 128, um, Genesis 128. I want to show you something. Our mindset has been conditioned. He didn't say go and steal. He didn't say don't, don't go and um, um, take your neighbor's friend. No, he just said, Adam, go and become big. So anytime you don't become big, you are over the command. That's right. You are busy following the Ten Commandments, but the first one he gave to you, you've forgotten about it. Jesus. And today I came to break your mindset. That's right. Listen, where you are and everybody is clapping their hands for you, there are better places more than that place. Yes, sir. If you're not careful, the applause of people will keep you in smallness. Jesus. Because what you think you have now, some, it is somebody's opening prayer. Jesus. Your salary you are bragging about is somebody's tithes. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so, uh, so, so, so see it right now. See it right now. Um, um, give me the um, NIV version first. NIV version. Perfect. Let's go to 26 and let me show you. The day he made Adam, 26, look at it right now, 26. He says, God said, let us make man. So right now, he made a decision. Let us make man. 27, what happened? 27, so he made man. So in 26, he said, let us. In 27, he says, now man has been made. So let us make. Man has been made. When man was made, the first command of man was in 28. Let's all go. Let's go. One, two, three, let's go. God bless them. And said to them. Be fruitful and increase in now, number. Now, the moment he, he made man, he blessed and said, I command you, go and become increased. Jesus. But before he said increase, he said, he blessed them. You can't tell me you are blessed when you are still small. Jesus. You can't tell me you are blessed when things are still small. One of the functions of the blessing of God is for things to become so great. Yes, and today I move you to that realm of greatness. Amen. I move you, say, I will increase. I will increase. He says, he blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. When he said increase in number, it's not only saying that go and have other children. It's whatever you enter, your numbers have to multiply. Yes, sir. And today I want to stand on this premise. Jesus. If the lady who was married for 20 years, has not had three children, then I declare over your life, Jesus. let God, if you are looking for a baby, yes, receive Lord. your baby, 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 yes, from the Lord. altar, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now the message Bible will make you angry when you read it. Let's go. The message Bible in 28. It will make you angry if you are not taking charge. Now let's all read together. Let's go. God bless them. Uh -huh. Prosper. Uh -huh. Reproduce. Uh -huh. Fill F. Uh -huh. Take charge. Listen, God said, take charge. charge. Ask the person by you, are you taking charge? Are you taking charge? Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. With everything you are doing. With everything you are doing. Have you taken charge? Have you taken charge? What is the answer? Yes. So the day, the day God made man, the first word God gave to man was to prosper. Sir. But they've told you, if you're a Christian, don't prosper. If you're Christian, don't look for prosperity. But when God made you, the first thing he told you, go and prosper. If you're not prospering, there's a question mark on your life. That's right. Today, listen, whether you like it or not, in this commission, I command you to prosper on every side. Amen. Listen, there's a grace on this commission that if you don't want to prosper, you prosper by force. That's right. So I place that grace from this altar. Jesus. And I drop it over your life now. Amen. Say, I'm taking charge. I'm taking charge. Say, anywhere I enter. Anywhere I enter. I am the one. I am the one. To take charge. To take charge. Clap your hands and bless God. Yes, Lord. 
so Paul the apostle let's go back to my test one plant another waters so God wants to show you for you to increase in life you can do your part but for the increase to show up God has to show up in your life that's right he says somebody planted another put water on the ground but for the increase to come there has to be an unseen hand so what makes you great is an unseen hand of God over your life but this test also shows you before you can increase you've got to go to your own, what you need to do you have to do because if you don't plant and water you cannot increase That's right. but unfortunately other people plant other people water but they don't see increase Hagar chapter 1 verse number 6 people are pushing trying their best but the results are not showing up hey guys chapter 1 verse number 6 NIV then I don't take me back to KGV until I tell you okay yeah it says look at it right now it says you have planted much you harvested little you eat but you never have enough you drink but never have your fill you put on cloths but they are not warm you earn wages only to put them in a purse with holes in it Jesus so as for the money is coming but you put them in a bag with holes inside of it one of the things that block the greatness of people is when the devil places a hole on your bag jesus but i declare on your spiritual bag yes lord i speak on your spiritual bag jesus and no listen to me this few weeks of the growth and increase anything that causes you to get let help jesus i come against by fire Amen. he says what you planted it was much but what you harvested it was little little You gave the guy all your love. What did you get back? Little. You invested money in that company. What came back? Little. You put your money up. What happened? Little. But today, any holes in your bag? Jesus. That brings about the shadow. Lord. And the agenda of littleness. Jesus. I take it away from your life now. Amen. It's never part of your life. Amen. Say I will increase. I will increase. Because God will make me increase. Because God will make me increase. So Pastor Daniel, what is growth? Growth simply means development. When there is a development, there is growth. Is that okay? Yes, sir. When I was reading about it and um, um, the dictionary gave me another side and said, but there's another side of growth that is bad. And I read it and, 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 and it said, but growth in a hospital is bad. And, and it says, when a doctor sees an abnormal tumor in a person, it's called growth and it's bad. I said, wow. So what we are looking for as growth in a, in a different context too is bad. Because when doctors see something that they don't like, they call it a growth. And it means they have to cut it off. But that's not the kind of growth you are talking about. Yes, no. I'm talking about growth in your account, your life, Jesus. your Christian life. Listen, this year, your Christian life has to grow. Yes, sir. When you shake a witch this year, Jesus, a witch has to confess. Yes, Lord. Some witch, listen, you are about to go to some funerals and some places. When you stretch your hands to greet, this is what they will do. Yes, Lord. Say, I'm not greeting you because I see fire in your hands. Jesus. You can't be coming to Testimony City for your Christian life to still remain the same. That's right. An increase is a sudden change in length in height or appearance for the good never forget about that god why do you want me to increase and grow number one god wants you to increase and grow because he is the god of increase he is the god of increase Slow. and because he's the god of increase he wants you to grow and increase, increase. number two he is the source of every form of increase he is the source of every form of increase. So because he's the source, he also wants you to grow and increase. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse number 11. Let's see something that he says over there. Let's be very, very quick. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse number 11. Let's see what he says over there. He says, may the Lord God of your ancestors, may he increase you thousand times and bless you. So he says the God of your ancestors, he will increase you how many times? Thousand times. How many times? Thousand times. Do you know thousand times? It's any number 
times thousand. If you have thousand right now and you multiply it by thousand, it is one million. So you are just a thousand. But when God gives this grace over your life, you get to a million. Lord. If you just have a hundred, it becomes a hundred thousand. So he says he's the God of increase. He will increase you how many times? Thousand times. I declare your decrease is over. Amen. Let's continue. Number. Now let's go to number three. The reason why God wants you to grow and increase is very simple. He is a big God and he takes pride in your growth. Jesus. So anytime you grow and increase, he's excited and he's happy about your growth and increase. Number four. He commanded us to grow and increase from what we read. So because he commanded us, is he's excited to see you grow and increase. Number five. Our increase gives him glory because it reflects him. When a cat gives birth to a cat, when a cat is 10 years, this is the height of the cat. When a cat is 20 years, this is the height. But when an elephant is one year, this is it. When an elephant gives birth to an elephant, and the height is like this, the mother elephant will say that there is something wrong with you. Right. So if God is your God, and you are a child of God, if you remain small, he will ask you what is wrong. That's right. Jesus. Those who are clapping have got my revelation yes, already. Sir. Let's continue. Number six. I like this one. Our increase will help us to bless other people. Because when you grow and multiply, you have the liberty to bless other people. If you don't believe that one, go and ask the small boy who brought five loaves of bread and two fish. When he brought it and it multiplied, did he only enjoy? No. Other people enjoyed. Some of you, people think you are wicked and stingy. It's not because you are wicked and stingy. It's because your five loaves have not been multiplied. That's but right. when your loaves are multiplied and you increase, they will see who you are. Jesus. The way you will bless them in that family. Yes, Lord. Hey, all those who said you are stingy, I give them less than seven days. Jesus. Your growth, by the time you are through with this series, yes, Lord. your growth and increase will show them who. Amen. Hey, 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 Bastel. Hey, 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 Bastel. There are some people when they even have more, they are still stingy. That's right. I'm not talking about those people. As the person around you, are you are you part of them? Are you part of them? Number seven. And number seven is very good. Our increase motivates others to yearn to increase. That's right. When people see that you have increased, it also motivates them. That's why I want to tell you. If you are with people who always talk talk to you about small things, run away from them. Try to hang around people who think big. When you are around people, talk think about talk 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 about millions. Right. Anytime you talk about millions, someone say, "Hey, hey, it's too much." Run away from them. When they are comfortable with your smallness, you will remain small. Jesus. Because give me the seven people around you today, and I will show you where you shall be in the next five That's years. That's right. If you have four millionaire friends, you shall be the fifth one. Sir. If you have four broke friends, you shall be the fourth broke one. Right. Because the, Jesus. Because those around you will motivate your thinking. Sir. Church, look beyond Ghana. Look beyond Accra. See far. Now social media is there not for you to go on there and laugh and just joke. You go there to think. You go there to see amazing things that are happening. Now, very simple. Those times, you have to only sit on TV to see what is happening in America. You can sit on your Facebook page in one second. And everything happening in America, you will know. That's right. Am I saying the truth? Yes, sir. It was not like that. Before you can see a preacher preaching, you have to wait for GTV, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. to see. any moment, Church, what do you want to achieve? The house you want to have. You can go on social media and look at it and it will motivate you people around listen to me anybody who, are, who is around me you can't be around me to think small sir. never am i saying the truth yes, sir. you can't be around never i will make sure your mindset is changed people clap and god has blessed testimony city they are just only less than six years and god is blessing them oh my god prophet daniel it's enough keep it like who told you one day I was, I, was, I, I was watching some pictures in the church in America. Pastor Diboye's church. Sorry, in Nigeria. Pastor Diboye's church. When I saw the photos of the choir, the photos of the choir was like Testimony City. Right. About 2,000 people said, we have not started. 
the, the, the photos of the choir. Do you have it? The photos of the choir. Look at the choir. Sister Ma, this is the choir. This is the choir. This is the choir. This, this is the choir. This is the choir. That's right. This is the choir. But if you sit down in Ghana, Edward Prophet Daniel, wow, God has blessed. Let's see our 31st crowd. And it pro, we're amazing. It's a choir. It's a choir. It's a choir. That's the 31st right. drum. Church, hear me. So when you That's right. And 31st, we had this and yay. People are calling a man of God. God has blessed us. Hey, it's a choir. That's right. It's a choir. Listen your new car coming jesus when they are clapping for you yes lord tell them it's a choir that's right because your new car jesus. somebody only bought it for their children yes sir but i declare in the name of jesus, jesus. god is about to multiply you it's and make you so great say i'm powerful i'm powerful say hey hey i stop the mindset i stop the mindset of smallness of smallness hey hey jesus i hate little things that's right he's a god of increase Papa. he told you to, he told you to take charge yes, what Lord. are you doing today jesus what are you doing what are you doing somebody you are taking over Amen. i said it's a choir it's a choir it's that's a choir right. it's a choir it's a choir the car you say you love so much Somebody put your bola inside to get your bola right. away. It's a choir, it's a choir, it's a choir. Started church in London within the space of five years, had over 500 to 600 people. They were my church members in London. 500 and 600 people. A London standard was massive. I came to Ghana, they said, Then you get fire. I said, Who told you? It's a choir. That's right. Now, the 500 there is a choir. The London one is a choir in Ghana. I said the truth. Yes, sir. It's a choir. Church of God, hear me never ever settle small yes, sir think big that's right because that you will plant and you water but there is someone that will bring the increase Amen. so which means the increase after i try my best somebody is in charge of my increase yes, Lord. so my increase oh i like what i'm can i tell you yes sir my increase is the burden of god yes sir yes sir jesus i said my increase is that give me the text again three verse six it says paul apollos but the increase came from god so when i do my own and i sleep say god the increase i'm waiting That's for you right. today i speak in the name of jesus, jesus. let your increase let your increase yes Lord. let your increase come from jehovah amen say i'm increasing i'm increasing so they did this apollos guy there he was one of the um first century christians who spoke the word of god he was coming from he was a jewish guy that was coming from egypt alexandra and he spoke about the baptism of jesus christ a good preacher so we go to a time that people say that paul is powerful apollos is powerful this one can do this one this one can do the person wait 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 he has planted i've planted he has watered but the resource will come from god Sir. which means when you are there too and god starts increasing you don't think other people are lazy that's right jesus because other people are forcing than you uh, that's right other people are trying than you but some god our god jesus he gave you the increase mm. so don't look down on somebody because they couldn't grow yes sir. because your increase didn't come from you you only planted because listen to me you planted and other people planted but you got the increase so it's not because you are smarter or your degree yes Lord. but it's because god showed you Jesus. mercy don't look down on people when god begin to give you the increase yes, Lord. because you can't get increase yourself yes, sir. increase comes from god mm and today i place that grace over your life amen i place that grace over your life amen listen and the increase is a grace i'm at number seven number eight right okay we'll, we'll go very soon increase is a grace anytime when i just say god give me the grace of increase 
When you get the grace of increase, your customers will increase. Yes, Lord. Your clients will increase. Jesus. Everything around your life will increase. Listen to me. Everything you put your hand to do is an increase. Uh -huh. Say, I will increase. I will increase. One more time. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. I will increase. Number two. I will increase. Three. I will increase. Four. I will increase. Five. I will increase. Six. I will increase. Seven. I will increase. Eight. I will increase. Nine. I will increase. Ten. I will increase. Eleven. I will increase. Twelve. I will increase. May you increase. Amen. Listen, you can't be part of this commission. You cannot be connected to this altar with your tithe and do not increase. Yes, sir. Young professionals was lunch just in December. Last two days was our first meeting. We went for British Council. Um, let me now use this one to announce to you. If you're a testimony city member and you're a young person in any profession, make sure you are part. The way the thing is going, very soon you are going to do membership card. It's going to be exclusive network. We don't do even no Facebook Live, nothing. Because we give nuggets for growth and how people can get into investment. Our first meeting, we didn't fit British Council. They told us we are over our number. And it's not testimony city people that came to say it's the members that know. We have different people. We have Muslims, Buddhists, different people who are coming to be impacted. Because the grace over here, people say, man of God, where do they come? I said, me, I don't know where they came from. Right. I'm telling you the truth. The, the, team, they, the, the team themselves were saying, we don't know where they came from. And it's been amazing. Because why? The founder of it, carries the grace of increase that's right do you have some pictures from it from the last other time let's go do you have pictures from when um th thursday do they do they have it do they have it fast 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 i think we'll, we'll go to the movie i want the full crowd we'll go to the movie very soon okay the whole movie thank you yeah we'll go to the movie Hello, we we'll go to the movie. Amen. And we also go to the networking session. Okay, give me the movie. Do they have the movie? Kwame, do you have it? The movie. See it right now. You can't be part of this commission. Let's go. Check it right now. Let's go. Let's go. Look at it. People are sitting outside. Everywhere. Look at it. They couldn't enter. They couldn't enter. course you are getting all over people that want to be part people that want to come and speak people that i'm telling you the truth listen to me to empower which means the Ghanaian youth is very hungry that's right the young person this is from 22 years to 100 years to so make sure you are part let's go very quick now we don't know where to be doing it again People came by the gate and they had to go back. Look at it. Just one month old. You, you belong to an altar that is not about mediocre mindset. If you want to be part, go and register. But they're going to close the gate very soon. Look at them. That's outside. And, and we pray there as well. We pray. We pray. We pray. Look at the networking session. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. People are still coming. When we're closing. If you're in this church, you have idea to help, to motivate, and take people.
people to their next level you don't want to miss clap your hands and bless god say so i will grow and increase i will grow and increase okay let's continue thank you off thank you let's go number eight let's go number eight no i'm going to number eight yeah 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 those who said number eight you are very you are following well those who said nine i'm on draw number eight your increase intimate in intimidate the devil's kingdom that's right anytime you increase the devil is afraid of you because the devil knows that you have the power to destroy what has been designed because when the people are plenty the devil is afraid i declare your increase will make the devil go to heart attack Amen. Your in listen when you increase the devil is under heart attack yes lord number nine let's go it's very difficult to calm down when you have grown and increased it's very difficult when you have grown and increased it's very difficult for them to bring you down yes, Lord. let's continue when you grow and increase you create opportunities for other people example you provide jobs and work for them because when you grow and increase you are multiplying you ask other people to come and work am i saying the truth yes sir so if you don't grow and increase listen somebody's salary is in your pocket right now yes, sir. so if you don't grow and increase and, and multiply your job somebody's salary is still in your pocket jesus when you have one shop you apply you appoint and um you um you have say you apply events and you you employ thank you you employ let's say example two people if you have two shops how many people will you employ four so if you don't increase some of this salary is in your pocket jesus as the person around you is my salary in your pocket it's my salary in your pocket what is the answer number 11 number 11 number 11 let's go when you grow and increase you reflect how god is you reflect how god is you reflect how god is when you go home tell your children to become great whatever they find themselves yes, sir. and when your children also come tell them that when you give birth to a child say hey you need to increase and grow whatever you enter number 12 it helps you to break the mindset of smallness if you have enjoyed a big life before small life you don't you are not comfortable yes, sir. i might say the truth yes sir if you have enjoyed a big life before when small life is coming you are not comfortable because it breaks off the mindset that's why i keep on advising sometimes drive to any neighborhood you want to stay drive there look at the houses it will break something in your mind jesus when you sit in economy and you go to first class you don't want to go back to economy because the way you enjoyed in first class and you go to economy again for now but if you're not going to first class before when you're in economy you are comfortable i might say the truth that's right this is the next one don't clap here this one don't clap don't clap don't clap because somebody have not traveled here before if you clap they will not understand but i pray that everybody even today i brought the anointing from america over your life Amen. this is the next one it helps you to take over and have dominion in different areas of life let me tell you when you are so big at a place you are able to go and capture other things yes, clear example how many people know facebook how many people know facebook 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 I said left if you know you left i didn't say you said prophet no, you already know if you know facebook lift up your hands if you know instagram lift up your hands when facebook guy came about and facebook was so great in 2012 a young guy brought about instagram and instagram is basically about pictures you know facebook is about writing of words and so many other things when instagram came within the space of about two months the number of people that have signed up of instagram was so big because people were liking the pictures amazing then the facebook guy went to the instagram young guy and say hey i've seen that you've come on board i want to buy you off then the facebook guy took one billion dollars and bought instagram of the guy that's why facebook owns instagram right now instagram is worth over 100 billion I, I would have told the boy you are not very smart at least give him some part in the sense but now i'm kind of beginning calcium but why facebook was able to swallow instagram because facebook was big when god makes you big the person disturbing you by your next house you can go there and tell the person how much are you sending the house for Jesus. i want to move you yes, away Lord. i declare i declare Jesus. i declare i declare yes, i declare this week i i, I read an an article i've forgotten about this celebrity name that the neighbors always um 
People always go to the neighbor's house to look into the person's house. Then he went to the neighbor's house to buy the neighbor's house. Who? Who? Whisked. Perfect. Whisked. Because all the people are, will come to the other neighbor's house to come and look into his house. So Whisked said, ah, hey, 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 how much is your house? Has bought it and said, go away. Whisked. Right. Whisked. That was good. I read it. Whisked. That's the realm you have to get to. Yes, Lord. That's the realm. Some neighbors around you, you can some for Two minutes be no, hey, buy them off. That's right. I speak that grace of increase. Amen. You shall buy them off. Amen. Say buy them off. Buy them off. I'm trying my best. Thank you. Number 14. It makes it difficult for others to take advantage of you. Because, because those who have plenty, they try to take over and dictate to others. So when you are so big, other people not take advantage of you. Yes, sir. Because those who are big, they always intimidate you. Hey, hey, hey. You need to be so big. Say, I'm big. I'm big. And let me give you the last one. Can I give the last one? Yes, sir. Wow. Can I give the last one? Yes. Your greatness and your increase and your growth is part of the blessings of God. Anytime God wants to bless you, he also increases you. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm done. Be on your feet. <laughs> Let me see by hand. Anybody here that something has broken off your mind right now? Let me see anybody here today. You have become angry right now. Let me see. You are angry. Let me see by hand. That's it. I like sermons like this. It makes you angry. Don't remain where you are. Sir. Don't remain where you are. Don't be comfortable where you are. Jesus. Multiply and increase. Yes, Lord. Listen, to grow and increase, challenges will come. But you have to go through. Yes, sir. It's expensive to grow and increase, but invest everything inside. Yes, Lord. You will smile later on. Amen. Lift up your right hand. You don't, you don't, you don't want to base this series any day, any time. And you don't want to be missing praise and worship. People here, make sure that praise and worship you are part. Now, Tuesday morning services, I get the microphone at around 8.30. I come in and pray. Now, I don't know, by Tuesday mornings right now, a lot of sick people, they bring them here. I'm telling you for real. I'm saying the truth. Tuesday, they'll be lining them in front of their stroke patient, those on wheelchairs and the rest. So, I think from, from next week, Tuesday, 8.30, 8.40, I'll be, I will start praying for the sick people and everything before. I will start praying for them as well. So, come very early, any condition at all. Just make sure they bring them in as well. By the grace of God. Amen. Lift up your right hand. One prayer. One prayer. Say, Oh Jehovah. Oh Jehovah. Let me grow and increase. Let, let me grow, grow and increase. increase. Oh Jehovah. Oh Jehovah. Let me enjoy. Let, let me, me enjoy. Growth and increase. Growth, growth and, and increase. May nothing stop. May nothing, nothing stop. stop. My growth and increase. My, My growth, growth and increase. By power. By, by power. power. Listen, when I'm teaching you how to grow and increase, I'm teaching you. I will show you that. That some people around you when they come around you you stop growing yes, sir when they come around you you stop what growing. growing i'm telling you the truth one of the things that bring about growth and increase is when your rings begin to fall that some people around you when they come around you your rain will stop falling that's right sometimes a rain can stop falling because of a human being i think get me here guys after one verse number 10. i'll be showing some serious mysteries and after this whole series, I wanted to teach you about your spiritual horn, but I will do a series that shows you that you are God. You are a child of God. You represent God. New creation realities. I will show you that whatever you are, you represent Christ on earth. Verse 10. Look at it. It says, Therefore, because of you, the heavens have withheld their dew and the earth is cross. So sometimes, because of a human being, rain cannot fall down. Jesus. He said, because of you, the heavens are not bringing out the dew, the rain, because of you. So a person can be around you, and because of them, your rain will never fall. Jesus. Lift up your hands. Ask the person around you, who is that person? Who is that person? Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Among all the people. Among all the people. On your contact. On your contact. Who is that person? Who is that person? Say, prof say my neighbor. My, my neighbor, neighbor, Prophet Daniel, Prophet Daniel, Daniel will show us. Will show yeah, us within the next five weeks. Within the next five weeks, I'll give you signs of those people when we see them run away. 
That's right. Lift up your hands. You're about to clap and pray. Say, Oh God. Oh, oh God. God. I multiply. I, I multiply. multiply. I grow. I, I grow. grow. And I increase. And I increase. Nothing can stop. Nothing can stop. My growth and my increase. My growth and my increase. By fire. By fire. Somebody pray now. Multiply. Grow and increase. Now. 